Hello everyone, my name is Rahul Kumar Bhatt. I am from GCS MDM team. Today I am going to talk about how to enable the logs in debug mode in MDM 10.5 version. So, we will start with the introduction of the logs, then we will go through the prerequisites for it, the steps to configure the logs in debug mode, then I will just go through a demo followed by the reference part. So, in MDM, like the logs are getting generated at two sides. One is at up server layer, another one at the process clean server layer. And for both of them, like we have log 4j2.xml file at up server and process server. The location for it is hub server conf log 4j2.xml for the hub server one. And for the process server, it should be there in the hub clean conf log 4j2.xml. And for MDM 10.5, there are a slightly changes uh, in comparison to 10.4 version, which I'm going to discuss today. The prerequisite for it is that MDM hub server and process server should be installed. It steps to configure. So in the log 42j.xml file, like we need to add this debug level at uh, certain levels like com.cyperian, com.informatica, and com.delos. If required. So let's go through the demo part of it. So currently I'm into my environment and in order to make the logs in debug mode, uh, I will do the changes in my log 4j2 XML file. But before that, let me go and show you the logs. Like uh, right now it's in uh, info mode. So I'm into hub server logs folder and inside that like i'm just opening the recent log file so if you could see the logs are right now into info mode all right similarly in the hub cleanse logs the logs are into info mode okay now, in order to make the changes, we have to do the changes at log4j2.xml file and those files will be there at hub. In order to make the changes in hub server uh, log file, we need to go into hub server conf folder. Here we have this log4j2.xml file. Let it open. The changes that we need to do is first one configuration status is in info mode. We need to make it into debug mode. Then we need to check for few loggers like com.informatica, com.cyperian and com.delos if required we need to make them as well into debug mode for now like i'm making those into debug mode so i made it com.informatica into debug com.cyperian to debug and similarly for com.delos as well i'm making into debug mode just save this make this one Similarly, I'm going into hub cleanse conf file. Here also we have log 4j2 XML file. I'm opening this and making the same changes configuration status into debug mode. And similarly, for this appenders like com.informatica, I'm making it into debug mode. Com.los as well, I'm making into debug mode and com.cyperian as well. To debug mode. Let me save the changes. And if now we will see, let me open first hub server logs file. For that, let me do some changes so that some stack trace will be overwrite in my log file. Okay. Now let me. I'm opening the log file for up server and if you could see there are the logs has been changed into debug similarly if you'll see for cleanse one as well those also should be changed into debug mode see here as well it got changed into debug mode
So with this uh, demo part is over and for now like you can refer our product, doc, doc, product documentation and the link is mentioned below. We would like to hear from you and you can just drop an email at support videos at threatinformatica.com or you can just tweet us at uh, twitter.com info support. Thank you.